The ocean's gay, folks. We figured it out. <laughs> Good morning, saints and sinners. You're watching the Deep Freeze. And, uh, then this is fucking. This is the show you won't see on MTV. Luke, let's try it you're again. Fired. You're fired. <laughs> the show you won't see on the internet. <laughs> This is the only place you're gonna see it. Actually, yeah. You won't internet. see it anywhere else, folks. Welcome to the shit show. Shindig, pow wow. Let's restart that intro how about. Today. Today is a special day. It's a special day. Why is it a special day? Well, we we're took on some drugs. things before the podcast that we can't talk about. Yeah. We're gonna have people guess. Drugs. You ever heard of Definitely fungus? Drugs. Something to do with that. That's okay, never out. mind then. Don't worry Everybody about it. fucking knows. I, Everybody fucking knows I now. Fucking knows. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have officially updated the uh, Patreon, so go support the fun. Big Luke's Hot Dog Stand. Is there actually a link now? There's a Big link, Luke, and Big it Luke. works. It works? Yeah. Nice. So you can go donate money for the Stimmy Dogs. Have we got any donations whatsoever? No. Um, we are currently at zero dollars and zero cents. Hey, it's a step to somewhere. No one wants to see this come to life, but that's okay, it's because okay. someone I mean, will come along. Best. We'll have hot dog stands Set up around galore, the whole entire galore. nation, bro. What do you think of the name? Like, what's it remind you of? Because dude life, dude life. Like, it's uh, it keeps it simple. I think you know, dude life. It, it's simple in the fact that like, it makes me think of the last frontier for toxic masculinity. You know, because <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest, we're not very palatable. I'm sure we don't have a very good female audience, and if we do, you guys are troopers. Yeah. And if you are watching and this video, we do appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. We are not anti-female. Uh, We're not anti-anything except anti-Nazis. Yeah, we hate the Nazis. We hate hate, and we, I think yeah. that is yeah. that's the theme. We may not love love all the time, but we definitely hate hate. For we sure. love women. We love men. I Grant, love women. Probably more than others. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll leave that in the closet. So. <laughs> I'm cleaning out my closet. I don't have a closet. Yeah, it's it's for mead. It's for mead in my closet. I I love women too. Uh, I love dogs and cats, just not the same way, you know. Yeah, yeah. Different. You can different love all love. sorts of things. Like I I love my cats, but I love lamp. Not in the way. <laughs> We're overall on drugs today. Well, yeah, that's the point of this whole show. Like, At least, what does the life of a dude entail? Yeah, like, what does it remind you of? For me, mm -hmm. you know, like we were talking about earlier, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the skateboard community that, uh, just that kind of... Thank you, sir. I mean, I don't want to say it's for the boys, but it's it is. definitely a place that, it's a family, it can be. Yeah. Um, and it's where we can be us in a non toxic man yeah and just non-judgy because you know you and i are different in many ways but also very similar and you know growing up i used to skate and there'd be you know kids that, lucas <laughs> manners manners stop coughing <laughs> Try to... stop dying over there huh big luke's hot dog stand everybody big luke's Sport hot dog fun. stand he's fucking <laughs> 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 He's out of commission for the day. He's out of commission. He's out of control. <laughs> yeah, he's put the a wild animal. collar on him. Whatever. Wow. Get okay. the trank. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, this one? You ain't gonna like it, but 50 bucks. <laughs> okay. Dude life. Back. Dude life. Back on track. It's about sinking in to who you really are. Yeah. Um, and it's if not you're giving a, dude a fuck, you know? Who's been a dude his whole life and just has trouble sinking into who you are because maybe there's some you know societal pressure to change in a way that you feel uncomfortable right yeah and and like I ever can't since even think of a particular uh thing off the top of my head but that happens mm -hmm. uh this is the place you can come to to listen to your uh dudes just being dudes yeah and uh we, we'll come out with some funny stuff here in the future we're in the beginning stages of creating yeah. something awesome we're still in the womb basically yeah and you know, since incubate since day one, kind of premature. You know, yeah, since day one, we've we've let, we've just thrown everything out on the table. We haven't blurred anything. We ha yes, it's a cut podcast, but we're everything's on the table. No lying, no fake stories. This is just people and what they mm -hmm. what they do, and 
you know, like I was saying, I've made the decision that I no longer want to be that asshole, you know, person. I want to, you know, I want everyone to have a good time. I want everyone to be involved and feel welcome and comfortable and, you know, just an outlet. <coughs> oh, God, I was holding that one in. I'm not entirely sure, but I like the name. It's, yeah, I don't know. Hey. Dude, that's it. Dude, that's all it needs to be. Yeah. That's oh. the thing, is why does it have to be complex? Why do I have to have a reason that I like it? Why can't I just like it? We're dudes, and we're living life. Yeah. And this is... And this is our life, dude. This is the real world. Take it or leave it. You know, if you don't like what we say and what we do here, there's the door. Uh, hope you stick around, though, because... We are just having fun. Yeah. We're just both two passionate motherfucking doughy white boys just... On floating through Jeff Bezos' rocket ship on the path to Kong Island, and we'll figure figure it out. We're just peasants. Pe peasants, huh? Is this one good? Guy raised his hand over here. That's how you get <laughs> my fucking attention. Yeah. Huh? That one good? Marion Berry? Yeah, yeah Marion Berry's pretty good. It looks really good. That's uh, I see you're on my. Was that? Website. Did that used to be an Outback Steakhouse? Where? Your, your fucking... Raytown? No, your fucking uh, dispensary, bro. Which one? It looks like an Outback. <laughs> it looks like an it Outback. It could have been. I don't know. Look, don't you got another know. Outback right here. And you got the Outback. I have no clue. That's not the one I work at. Oh. That one has a drive through You know, that does look like it would be an Outback. It's not that big inside, so I wouldn't think so. It's oh, dude, somewhere. that looks like a crack house. <laughs> no, it is great inside. Do you ever have, like hear shootings and shit? From yeah, on the boat? all the time. I snapped a rabbit's neck the other day. Whoa, what? That's um, it looks very really nice. Not gonna lie. <laughs> the backyard of that place. So no, like I went outside at the end of my shift. Me, it was me, the guard, and then some other employee. Yeah. And there was this rabbit, but its neck was like already broken, and it was oh. just there, and it was alive, and it was a, it was the saddest thing. Oh. It was... And we all kind of saw it, and we were just like, well, what do we do? The guard goes. Well, I could just put it down. I got my gun. And I'm like, no, you dummy. There's a house right here in our backyard, basically. You're in city. Yeah, you're, we're in the city. You're, you'll lose your job if you put down this Not rabbit. Right? Yeah. You're selling pot, too. And so, yeah. I was like, okay, Legal. well, I've I've put down, I mean, I've hunted before. So it's this isn't like. I was took a knife. No, I don't have, I didn't have a knife on me. So what, what I did was I picked up the rabbit. And I was like, you guys might want to look away on this one. Oh, oh, oh no. And yeah, man. Sound effects. I don't feel good about it. I didn't sleep well that night, honestly. I had dreams oh. about the rabbit. Dude, I snapped I... its neck. And I did a full twist, oh. right? And it was still kicking. So oh. I did another full twist. Oh. And that's when I felt the skin kind of oh. pop open. So I just dropped the body all freaked out. And <laughs> got in my car, sanitized. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've ran over a raccoon and... It made me cry a little bit because it was with another raccoon. So you know. Yeah, man, it's like, the sad. Damn. It's a sad thing because you're like, oh man, this guy's just living his little life. But yeah. my main thing is, we'll I don't. Life. How'd the rabbit get there? Who broke its neck? And and was it like a it neighborhood? Probably, it probably fell out of a tree. No. Why would a rabbit be in a tree? I, no. I just thought that. But, he uh, fell out of a tree. He uh, uh, probably got in a fight with like a predator. And but it was. So here's let me let me explain where it was. Uh, so it was behind our building, but it was fenced in. And it's in our little employee parking lot. So it got hit by a car, bro. Maybe, but like, that's the thing is like in a parking you... lot, a rabbit. I here's my theory. It was it was? A... I think it was one of the residential areas because I looked up what it means when there's like a rabbit with a broken neck in your yard. Right. Sign from God. And no, it's 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 a sign that people don't want you there. Oh, yeah. Damn, it's like a rock. So I window. broke the fucking rabbit's neck. And it was like, come and get them. <laughs> come and get, get the weed, bro. Here. Come and get it. Come get it. I'm on drugs. Let's do some more. Well, okay. Can we talk about the psychedelic effects on no. uh, how you heat, reach a higher conscious? No. We can. No, we cannot do that. That's a we good could. subject. No, I don't want to talk about other consciousness and shit. Like, fuck uh, that. Hyperconsciousness. Hyperconsciousness is good. Interconnected consciousness. Yeah, the fucking interconnected. Yeah, the the tubes <laughs> and the hyperdrive and the space laser. I just like these protocol. Words. 
the they're good words. The fusion generators out of whack with the defibrillating <laughs> Mongo structure. <laughs> if you affiliate, you affiliate yourself, <laughs> if you affiliate yourself from human, uh, actual human error, no, you, no. you can shut the fuck up real quick. Hold uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> like, where do you want to be in twenty years? In twenty years. Do you want to be comfortable? Do you still want to be working? Do you want to? Yeah, I want to be the owner of multiple types of businesses in 20. That would be um, good. In 10, I want to at least have my own smoke lounge. Yeah. And then build off of that business-wise. I plan to be a millionaire by 30. Um, yeah. That that's, is, that's the goal. Well, yeah, that's the goal. And then it's all up from there. How am I going to get there? Filming this I'm podcast. Keep, keep going on. I'm going to keep moving <laughs> forward. I am going to keep filming this podcast. You know what? Why? But, uh, well, why? Why? Because I think it's honestly, uh, more than anything, it's a good vent for me. It's a, it's a good like way for me to release all of that energy that I had built up that uh, week that I wasn't oh. able to express through Fuck. Uh, exercise yeah. and stuff like that. This week, bro. bro. Um, like I got a tournament coming up, uh, October 2nd. Yeah. I actually have a jiu-jitsu tournament, and we're going to see. We're going to see where I stand. I don't expect, personally... At my current level, to do super well, but I want to know exactly where I'm at so I can build off of that structure. Yeah, because for me right now, it's not about winning; it's about learning. Yeah, that's true. That's and where I'm at with this podcast. It's like, because yeah, would I like <laughs> to go up there and just win? Absolutely. Yeah, but I also kind of want to know what I'm pretty bad at. Yeah, and like, know what you're doing. Yeah, first off, it's just like. Yeah. So in the tournament, go head first every time. Laxatives. Lots go for the double. Get them down. <laughs> go straight. I'm talking like all in like this has to be all in one sequence. Go for the double. Go get them down straight and go straight for the Kamara. Every time. Hey, you know what? He is saying terms though. He is actually at least saying like that's good. Jiu Jitsu terms. I, I can... start laughing at my own joke. Sorry, but because I thought you were gonna go completely off the wall. No, the Kamara is a good move to always go. Just like. Well, because like even if you don't like get the Kimura as a submission, a you can use the Kimura hold to dominate your opponent control-wise to go for other moves, which him, may or may not be the way I'm going. North-South mount is something I'm going to be chasing as a small little guy. Uh, it's something that's good for me. I have a good center of mass, so I'm all I'm I'm short, but I'm also like compact. So at my weight, whenever I gain top or bottom positions. It works out a little bit more in my favor, maybe. Are you a top or a bottom? I'm tripping a little bit, dude. I'm <laughs> tripping. This isn't a good time to dissect fights for me. Are you a top or a bottom? Uh, typically, honestly, yeah. just because I'm the little guy in the class, I'm a bottom. Well, I mean, sexually. Oh, top. <laughs> <What are> you... <laughs> you guys remember that snack grips? Huh? The snack grips. Yeah. They were fucking delicious. Yeah, they're like the little little packets. The yeah, little granola. Peanut bags. Yeah, yeah, like the cheese balls ones too. Yeah, the granola chocolate chip. Yeah, the shit was the you shit. You remember them? Uh-uh. Grips, man. What? The little package like came, looked like a trail mix bag, but it was, look them up, grip. I bet they still exist. Most food exists mm. still. Did you know snack. Wonka went out snack. like a business like years ago? Wonka? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. No, it didn't. What? Honestly, did you ever buy anything got, from Wonka? Yeah, bought. You don't remember these, bro? It's just variety packs. They're, they had singles too. Chips, man. Chips. I don't remember Rips. that one. <laughs> Rips. Rips. Yeah. Chips. Slips. Yogos, bro. Nip yogos slips. were good. Pips. Do you guys like the yogos? Uh, n- no, nah, they were a little too awkward for me. Oh. They're... I kept it simple. Name brand snacks only. Yeah. These were name brand back then. Yeah, they were. I was the, a gogurt guy, you know. Gogurt was good. Yeah, I got gogurt in my lunch pad over I here. No, <laughs> I want some. Nah. I haven't had it since I was a little, ch- little child. Little. What's going on? Real quick for the people, if you're watching this episode, uh, we filmed it just exactly one week ago, so you're seeing it one week later from the filming date. Anyway, this news story kind of came about a couple weeks ago, so we're a little behind on it. But uh, Tony Hawk is a. Uh, He's making a limited edition skateboard that he is putting his own blood into the paint. And, you know, the whole skateboard community is like, yeah, rock and roll is a badass. You know, it's not getting any backlash or hate. Similar to when 
Joey Jordanson, the drummer of Slipknot, R.I.P. Uh, he put his own blood in his drumsticks, and well, uh, it was also a metal band, and I forgot their name, but they were a death metal band. Uh, that when their one of their bandmates blew his brains out, they wore his skull on their necklaces. So this is even further. This is even like further than that. Yeah, these things have happened, and. Where is this controversy? Uh, well, uh, those two scenarios, they didn't get any backlash from the, the world. Uh, but Lil Nas X, the uh, gay cowboy, yeah. I guess would be the term. I wouldn't know. The rapper. You can call him that, I guess. <laughs> I'll but figure it gay? out. Uh, yeah, I, uh, who knows. Do you want to hear something cool. he doesn't um, understand, though? Hold what? on. Me? Um, no, Lil Nas X. So the only reason Own it. the only reason he's bitching because he got his shoes fucking banned because they had blood in it, you know. And, but did they get banned? Uh, well, they got no, they got they got stopped from being released because really? uh, he, Nike didn't have an agreement with him to make that shoes, and they were they're Nike shoes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Nike didn't want to be associated with it, so now he's pissed off and saying everybody canceled him because he's gay. When in fact, no, you're fucking. Sa- you're, they're called like Satan shoes or something like that, yeah. and they have blood in it. That's like worshiping the devil, and I mean, as a company, they have as a private company, they have a right. Well, they have public, a, they have a know. moral set that they have to follow because yeah. that's they have company the values. Start, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just like people have values, companies have values, and yeah. even if you don't like them, they have more employees than you. So, and Lil Nas yeah. X goes on, and Lil Nas X blames everybody else, the media, yeah. and all this for uh, getting them banned. When in reality, it was the company's choice and decision. Okay, here's what okay. I think needs to happen. That got cleared up then. Someone needs to pick these shoes up. What? And sell them. Under <laughs> Armour, bro. Oh, I mean, Under sure. Armor. Under that sounds like something Under Armour yeah, would do. Nice shoe, under, under the under proper Armor. branding. I don't know if they'd do it under like the devil thing, but they'd be like, yeah, they'd blood, sweat, and tears edition. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. It's the Rock dude we're talking about is one of their main sponsors. Oh, and that yeah. dude is all about blood, sweat, and tears. Yo, tag yeah. Lil Nas X and tell him about this. Yeah. Lil Nas, go go Dwayne Johnson. Like, go to him. Blood, He'll find sweat, your and tears shoot, under bro. armor drop. Bro. Like, yeah, here's the thing. You, you don't have to like the idea of it, but if you're going to allow I know other you. people to do the same thing, if not worse things, then just let the guy put blood in his shoes. Just let him do it. Drake, you listening? We we yeah, need you a... called him the gay cowboy. He's done listening. I'm taking it out, damn it. I'll... He probably likes that term, though. The gay cowboy. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I don't see anything wrong with that one though. He's. I'm not shitting on him. I like his music. To be He's honest, good. Montero's actually really good. I just don't like the music video. What is Montero? Never heard it. Uh, the one where he lap dances on the devil with that song. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Oh, a pretty good song. Yeah, I guess that one got a lot of uh, backlash too. I want to sell what you're buying. Yeah, that's, no. a, good, that's <laughs> a good line. Fair line. I want to sell what you're buying. Yeah, because it's true. Smart businessman does that. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's... Should, I, hopefully, you, you're selling what I'm... What people want to buy. Yeah. yeah. As or you make people man. want to buy it, and that's a better salesman. Yeah. You put the well, idea in their Lil head. That's what is doing with his music. He's literally he what people on this. did with gold and diamonds. They were like, you want this? Hmm. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. And they're like, why? Because like, it's make fucking you. shiny, it's and it's fucking rare. It's shiny, and it's Dude, rock hard. I can't wait hard. for the day. It has mystical powers. <laughs> I can't wait for the day until someone gold finds, does. like... A huge abundance of diamonds, like for miles and miles, and there is plummets of value of diamonds. Everybody's chains and shit go from like a hundred million, like a million dollar chain goes to like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, well, it's called the Earth, and we have a lot of diamonds. We got a lot yeah. of. Sh- I'll, well, that's probably have a lot near. Well, oh, no, we don't actually. I don't know why it reminds me of it, but what if uh, everybody just stopped paying attention to celebrities? Like, you know, we, are we kind of honestly like they post a picture to. and they only get like 13 likes. We've started to. Yeah, it has started. They got oversaturated. So saturated like we haven't heard yeah. from Hollywood and I don't so know how the reason long why and... is because we have Instagram influencers, YouTube personalities. We That's have all Hollywood. Yeah. We have different types of famous. influencers now yeah. is the new celebrity. Right. So. so we have so many different types of famous. that. We don't. I really have famous people anymore. Like yeah. we have the people who were already well established before all of this, mm-hmm. who we all know, like Brad Pitt or the like, Hollywood you know, celebrity big names. Yeah. But since this like social media boom, boom, yeah, like a few years ago, really, honestly, Dude, like, 
like Probably since like we were kids. Yeah. yeah, basically from when we were kids to now, the world has completely changed as far as being famous. Like yeah, that too concerned. quick. Yeah, Mandela yeah, effect. Yeah. It's insane. Something. I don't know. But yeah, probably not down that road. Today. Yeah, but it's... We'll get Morgan on the show for that. So... Anyway, <laughs> go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, being famous. Yeah, it's yeah, just... Hollywood. It's hard to be famous now. Yeah. Like, what are you going to be famous at? What are you going to be We've famous for? We've already done it. Yeah, we're we've already, already done it. Yeah, we've already hit the red carpet, and we're just kind of taking a break from that now. So the only reason that these Paul brothers have been able to get famous is oh. because we're so fucking bored of what we already have. Yeah, and we're trying to make it more exciting. We've made a new Kardashian family, the D'Amelios. Never even heard of them, but that's I'm good. Sure I will. I'm yeah, sure I they got I their own TV show now. now. I saw that. Yeah. I want to watch well, it. we need a new one. <laughs> the, the new I, I mean, it's about Kardashians time. Are old. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah. old and we gotta we gotta wrap this shit up every two years. Fucking or else it's gonna bring it around. Stale. We got ADD. Yeah, we can only pay attention for so long. Yeah. And then... I have hyper fixations. Okay, you gotta give me new ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Into the multiverse. Wow. Into the multiverse. We got Grant variants, which is a fucking. That'd be fun. No. <laughs> That'd be really different fun. copy. Yeah, different versions Dude, of you. This whole room is filled up with like multiple of us. Yeah, you, 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 you fucking laugh. The <laughs> <laughs> it's like that Robin William episode of Family Guy. What are you yeah, doing? Dude. Oh. I want to play different variants of me. Yeah, that, I want to do that for a skit. Yeah. But that's what being an actor is. You know, when people, you know, <laughs> when my friend's friends ask about me, they always refer to me as. Hey, who's that long-haired pirate-looking guy at? I'm like, thank you, but fuck. That's all I look like to you. I like it, though. It's I think nice. you're unique. Yeah, and I like that. I don't know anybody like you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just staring? Nothing? Nothing. Just staring, dude. You ever stare at shit? <laughs> I'm staring at shit over here. Staring at <laughs> Sound quality's all fucked up in this video. Who cares? Whatever. I got different volumes for each way I feel. What the fuck does that mean? Lucrative. <laughs> it means lucrative. It means to be to have more than you do now. Which is better than nothing. I have a schizophrenic uh, step grandfather. Wow! What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, who loves Nicorette gum? He loves it. He chews it so much. Nicorette. Is there yeah. nicotine in it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just the whole point. Uh, yeah. It has nicotine. It's nicotine dangerous. gum. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. It and so he needs it to function. It's like his own little self medication, and. He starts growling and he starts <laughs> peeing in places in public. <laughs> he, he's he's crazy. I love it. You're but dude, right going on a road trip with that gum. guy is that, that's the ultimate test of patience. Hmm. Is you got to if you'll know exactly where you stand once you've taken a road trip with my schizophrenic step grandpa. His name's Peter and he's from Peter. New York. So he's like, yeah, all right, all right, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna get what we need. Just starts, he starts growling like at random points, like when he's alone and anxious or thinks he's alone, which means I'm in the back seat. Oh. He starts talking about killing things and people, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ! Was it's he in the terrifying. war? Terrifying. No, he was just grew up in New York and is schizophrenic. Yeah, that would be kind of crazy growing up in a big city. It would. You know. But it makes me wonder how long has he been schizophrenic? Like, when did this happen? Because he it, said he was a cab driver at some point in his life, so I'm like... Or is he normal? We're the ones that are... No. <laughs> no. Come on. No, dude, this yeah. guy. This... No way. No. He's not normal. No, not on, not on the table. Dude, it's, it's almost like traveling with a crazy pet when you, when you travel with this guy. Because, like... Every gas station you stop at, if he gets out, he's going to pee on the side of the building. So one time, my, this is just a quick story about this, this fella. He's fun. Um, he, was, he was staying at my house when I was a kid. 
and um, my mom was taking a nap. Everybody else was out of the house for the day. He was uh, sleeping in the front room on the couch. And she just, like, wakes up from the middle of her nap, and she hears him in the other room just talking about how he's going to kill her, how he's going to crush her bones, like, Damn. how he's going to, like, grind her up into pudding. And, like... Was it good pudding? But it, but she... My mom couldn't tell who he was talking about, so he just... She just basically got her stuff that was just closest to her and left the house and then called grandma and was like, yo, dude, your fucking husband is insane. Like, like you gotta... You gotta watch him. Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yeah. And uh, that's when my grandma was like, no, he's super schizophrenic. <laughs> and we're like, you're bringing him around our kids? Like, just... Yeah, so he growls when he's nervous. Talks about killing people. And uh, quite literally an animal. Like, he's quite literally an animal. And that's why I am the way I am. I grew up with that insanity. I'll show you slippery slob, man. Grandpa pool slob. <laughs> Grant's like, fuck. You don't. You don't even understand. <laughs> we, we swimming through basketball hoops. Welcome to Dude Life. Well, why do you want to work here? Why do I want to work Look, here? Grant, yeah. Be... Uh, I want to be here because I'm a dude. Uh, this is Dude Life. All right, what I are you going to do for the company? I'm going to show up. I'm going to have a good dude attitude. And, uh, you ever meet my father? I have, yeah. Yeah. He's he's fun. I like him. He knows how to have a good Next time. question. Okay. What you got for me? I'm asking you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to be a dude life. Next question. What's the next one? I'm asking the questions around here. What's your weakness? Uh, my weakness? Fucking kill me, son. Probably THC. Yeah. Probably THC is my weakness. <laughs> huh? Is that a thing? Yeah. Fuck it's with Tetrahydrocannabinabinoids. Me. <laughs> What's the three? Banana bananaoids. Give it in. <laughs> what would you, if you had, if you had, if what are three things you're going to positive trait? What are, <laughs> <laughs> what are three positive traits that you inhibit for, and can, Participate in the, in the ranks. First and foremost, <laughs> positivity. Yeah, and then uh, second off, I uh, I bring a, <laughs> a little bit of positivity. Yeah, and then uh, Wait, entertainment. You, you said the first one the second time. Yeah, but okay. So the, the entertainment purposes, purposes, purposes. Oh, and then uh, the third thing. <laughs> If you want to join the dude squad, we're hiring another booth boy. We need another booth boy. Big Luke can't run this hot dog stand by himself, no. folks. We need, I need a fry a little, cook. I need a little Mexican. Do we need our, our own little SpongeBob? You know? What's a SpongeBob? A fry cook. <gasps> yeah. You think Mr. Krabs is over there flipping them burgers by himself? Nah, dude. He's got Maybe a. be a good fry cook. He's got a squid run in the front and a fucking sponge in the back. We need a. We need a squid. Sponge in the. Back. You think I'm Darth Vader? <laughs> Breathing and shit with my DVD. <laughs> <Yeah. septum. laughs> yeah, Dude, don't. is this your interview? Yeah, are you I'm interviewing in. me or are you interviewing yourself? Next question. Is your mouth tiny and small? And why don't you come down a little bit? Where, where the food is tiny, it looks like regular food, but really tiny. You can put it in your mouth and you eat it. Nothing gets stuck in your lips. It's just tiny and tiny. And it's right in. It's right in. We got it. Tiny as a lasagna. Tiny pizza. Tiny pie. <laughs> Little tiny fried eggs. Oh shit! We got tiny people. You hungry? Come on down. Eat some shit. You stupid bitch. Were you recording that? Yeah. <laughs> Little bitch. So that's what I bring to the table. I'm not that guy. And I don't bring that to the table. No. But I, I bring some form of entertainment. Here's my theory about Bitcoin. What is it? It's, uh, it's an energy source that we're tapping into from a parallel universe. It seems infinite now, but it's going to bring on the future wars. Future wars. With the aliens. Clone wars. So what's happening we're is we're fighting problems. for these Bitcoins. So are the aliens. And we got we to gotta go to war. Yeah, 
because they're taking all the big coins. They got this. Oh, yeah. We can use Jeff Bezos and we'll clone him and make a clone army. And Jeff Bezos, you are the key. Well, boys and girls, thank you for watching the Deep Freeze. If you're still watching, thank you. We'll see you next week. And uh, have a good one. Take it easy. And uh, don't do drugs unless they're free. Cheers. Hey, what are you doing here, man? We're all out of toilet paper. Uh, you put mushrooms in here? You put yeah. mushrooms in this? <laughs> <laughs> you put mushrooms in this? I can't even remember. Fuck you. You put mushrooms in the alcohol, and now we're tripping. <laughs> we just ate <laughs> Big Luke at his hot dog stand, and we're still drinking the rest of the mushroom liquor. Why can't we go outside? Is there a reason? We can go outside. Oh. The ladder. We're going up there? Yeah. I'm going this way. The ladder told me to. I've never seen this hallway before. Did you hear that? You better watch out. We found it. We're here. We made it to the roof. This is the final frontier. We've done it, folks. We've conquered the world from our basement in there. How do we end? So we jump off the roof. Uh, I ain't down for that. You don't tell me anything. The end of the world is something you can't even understand. Conquer, divide, soldier. Radio static. We all go on Google app. We go sideways. Going to go 17. We're here. Suffer. Tragedy. We call it something we call it too. Action.